Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an amazing, just awesome, awesome video announcement a little bit, I guess, uh, about SolidWorks' $99 maker's license. That's not some phishing scam or whatever in my thumbnail. This is literally $99 to get SolidWorks for hobbyists, for personal projects. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this is inspired actually by Mark Dalton who posted this comment right there. Um, wondering the difference between SolidWorks' is $99 a year to Fusion 360's personal. I'm not gonna be talking about that in this video but I will do another one of those videos soon. As you can see, I'm kind of in a different location than usual. Wasn't planning on recording for another couple weeks for uh, moving purposes but this is just so exciting. Have to talk about it. All right, so what do we have? There's a couple differences in this SOLIDWORKS, very, very minor, but other than that, it also comes with a number of other things. As you can read out here, it says 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS for Makers. This is important. This is going through 3D Experience. This is not going through a typical buying it from a third party, downloading it, getting some code where you can, can access that license. This is doing everything through 3D Experience, which is a web-based, kind of a business management kind of, um, I would say program, but it's not, website. Um, and so this is by default Systems. Um, really, really cool kind of website. A little bit clunky in my opinion, but I'm not going to talk m much about the business features as much as what 3D modeling comes with it. So it talks about SolidWorks Professional comes with it, which is also cool. It's professional. It's not, I mean, it has a lot of the features you'd find in the larger packages, the, the, the more permanent packages. You have 3D Creator and 3D Sculptor. I'm going to show a little bit about those. Pretty much they're kind of like a simple 3D modeling program inside 3D Experience um, for collaboration purposes if you're doing like a small business or whatnot. 3D Sculptor is very similar to Fusion 360's sculpting program or feature. Um, it's not sculpting in the sense of sculpting modeling where like you get with like Sculptrix or like Blender. Uh, it's a little different. I'll touch base on it a little bit. And then you also get different business um, ecosystem building features. I mean, chats, you can assign tasks to different people through 3D experience. Um, yep, some other things I want to touch on is in actually the Q&A, they have some really cool things that are pointed out. So who is eligible to purchase it? If anybody for personal projects, non-commercial, but this is where it gets really cool. Per our terms and conditions, you may sell items that make for a profit that you make for a profit up to and not exceeding $2,000 a year. That is exciting. That is huge because you rarely get to see a, uh, well, it's not free, but you rarely get to see a personal use, non-commercial license for anything where you are able to make profit. This is straight up saying you can make up to $2,000 a year and that is totally within your rights. Um, really, really, really cool. I'm not quite sure how they're planning to uh, keep track of this. Uh, I think similar to Fusion 360, in the next few years, they're probably going to crack down and make things a little bit more um, controlled. Currently, you don't have to answer any Q&As or um, quizzes or anything or applications. You just literally just buy it. Um, also, it costs $99 a year, excluding taxes. There was a couple of dollars, I think it was like five bucks in the United States tax, um, which whatever. Um, also, it is not available worldwide, unfortunately, though it is available in all of these countries, which is quite a few, uh, and they are working on bringing it to more countries in the future. So other than that, let's just jump on over to the actual 3D Experience dashboard. So this is my dashboard. As you can see, it says my roles. These are all the programs that came with it. Also, pro, pro, pl platform manager. Um, so let's just look at 3D Creator and 3D Sculptor just to kind of get an idea. So it's called X-Design. And again, these are all web-based. These are all within your web-based dashboard. Um, and so we'll just do a new component and we'll just call it whatever. And as that's opening, something else to note is you do need to open up SolidWorks from this dashboard. You don't, uh, unless you're able to download separately, you uh, like your um, like a shortcut or icon. You have to uh, actually get into SolidWorks from 3D dashboard for 3D experience. So as you can see, it looks kind of just like a basic 3D modeling program. Um, has very very similar. So I'm just gonna move my second screens in the way a little bit. 
um, you know, your sketches, you have different line features, your features, it, it, it straight up just SolidWorks. Um, there's a few new th different features I'm not familiar with. Like, I don't really know what this guy is. Um, but yeah, nice thing about this is this is meant to be, I, my understanding is it's more on the, a collaborative collaborative side of things. Um, so your team can actually see and view these. And so we'll get out of this and just close that up. All right, what else could we have? We got the um, Sculptor, 3D Sculptor. Like I said, it's very similar to the sculpting feature in um, Fusion 360. It's not really sculpting though, in, in my opinion, not really sculpting. Sculpting is more like a cl working with clay on a computer, like you would with sculpt Sculptrix or Blender, um, but it's still pretty cool. So let's see, we got a cube. And I'll just put it right there and you can see already we have just a cube, but we have all these different drag points now. And so, so this is what it means by sculpting. Very similar to, again, Blender's kind of freeform uh, sculpting functions that they have in their program. All right, we're gonna get rid of that and take a look at some of the other things. So we also do have collaborative business innovator, collaborative industry innovator. I'm not really gonna to touch on those here. I'm mostly focusing on these 3D modeling programs, which we also have SolidWorks. So we'll click on that. I click on it and open it. You will have to download some things to get this to work. It took a little bit of finagling and I will talk about that a little bit at the end of this video as well. Uh, as you can see down here, it's launching SolidWorks, and here we go. So the differences from a typical SolidWorks license. One, as you can see, you have to open it from the internet, which is a little bit of a bummer because not, you don't always have internet connection. Uh, internet connection is not always reliable. Um, yeah, so that's kind of one bummer there, and I'm not overly keen on, but it's SolidWorks for $99 a year, so I can take that. Uh, another difference is the files are actually going to be saved first to your 3D experience, 3D dashboard, um, and then you can save them onto your desktop, which is a little bit clunky just because you have an extra step to save something if you want it on your desktop itself. But other than that, it works just fine. Um, so yep, you have your parts, your assembly, your drawings, just open up a part. And there is no limits on how many files you can make, which is a huge difference from Fusion 360, which again, I'll talk about more in another video. You can save as many as you want. Um, that being said, because these are for personal use, there will be a watermark on any files you export. So if you're trying to get something manufactured, uh, drawing files, uh, all of that sort of stuff is going to have a watermark on it if it gets put onto a professional uh, or a more um, yeah, professional license. Uh, just to keep that in mind. But yep, everything is the same here. We got sketches, all the typical normal functions. You got your features, surfacing metal, excuse me, uh, your surface uh, sheet metal, um, and you have your other toolbars that you can add, oh, not toolbars, tabs. Yep, so structure systems, welding, molding tools, mesh modeling, all sorts of stuff, rendering tools. You do not have, as far as I'm understanding, you do not have the rendering program that is usually that SolidWorks has partnered up with that you would get in a typical license. Um, but you do have your basic rendering features of being able to put colors onto things and putting an environment, the stuff that's pre-built into SolidWorks. Um, also up in this top corner, I don't think this is a typical thing um, for normal SolidWorks, but you can talk about leader or owner, just different roles you have based off of your 3D experience um, roles. And other than that, it is, the same. It really is. So I do want to talk a little bit about how to get it onto your computer because everything worked just fine except for getting SolidWorks to work, getting it to connect. Um, typically when I, or when I first downloaded it, I had it right here. It said connected. I click on it and it says can't connect or not working or whatever. So how you need to do that, it took a little bit of, of time figuring it out, but in the chat support, which comes with 3D experience, another great thing, uh, I was able to find this link by Hillary Hood. I'll also put this link in the, con the content below. Um, this is a very good step-by-step -step instructions on how to install um, right here. Sorry, Hillary posted the problem 
Jennifer Tashiro actually was the one who had the results for how to get it to work, and it worked great. Follow her instructions to the T, and it will really, really, really make a big difference in terms of getting it to work. There was multiple comments I found on this chat room saying, I want a refund. I don't like this. This isn't what I asked for. And I think a lot of it was because people couldn't figure out how to get to SolidWorks, which is what they're really after. Other than that, that is the video. Much more of a longer one than I typically do, but I am just so excited to be able to use SolidWorks for, I mean, all sorts of different things. Um, yeah, I, I'm really, really excited. So if you have any comments, any questions below, I'd love to hear them. Um, and as always, keep modeling, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.